All right, right now I'm working on the uh, the reels off of Jacobson 1900D. It's a step cut machine, tri king, and I'm adjusting the uh, the rollers, doing the height of cut. So, I just wanted to show you some of the, the key things that you need to adjust on these reels. And they're very, very heavy reels. As you can see, I have mine up on a lift here. Got it supported up there. And uh, we're just going to set the height of cut here and get these ready for some back lapping. But uh, essentially what you want to do is if you need to drop this front roller down, which I had to do. Um, you got a 916 here and you're going to need a hold back on the other side. And you can same here, take this out and you have your different holes here for different heights if you need to drop this lower. I'm going to an inch, so I had to bring this down a little bit. Uh, if you're going to adjust, unlike the Toro, you can adjust the, uh, the bed knives to the reel. But on these reels, you're adjusting the reel to the bed knife. And uh, that's done by this. So you're gonna wanna crack this loose here on the side. And then this will turn for you. So if you turn it to the right, turn it to the left. And what that basically is gonna do, you can see this little reel thing there. It's going to bring your reel up and down. So you can adjust that, your reel to bed knife settings. And you got one on each side. And remember, you're gonna to have to loosen this first before this will be able to turn. And back here is your rear roller adjustment. So you're gonna loosen this one and this one. And depending on which way you need to go up or down, you're gonna tighten one or the other. All right. And that's pretty much the basics of doing the height of cut and setting everything on that on that reel. Hit subscribe below, give me a like guys. I do these videos every day. I'm trying to get my subscribers up and I'll see you next time.